my entire career has been up and down, up and down, and as far as success is concerned. It's about time I put out new music. It's about time I get to do it the way I want to do it. Uh, it's about time uh, all of this, this song itself comes out because just, I got to keep going. Well, it's about time. Hey everyone, I'm Samantha Long and joining me today is country music star Craig Campbell. Craig, how are you doing today? I'm doing extremely well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So I have to tell you, Keep Them Kisses Coming is my favorite song of yours. I'm not kidding you. I actually put it on every single country music playlist that I make on Spotify. Like that one always makes the cut. Yeah. Um, it's just so fun to sing along to and it's a big mood booster. But when you hear that song, what do you think of? That song was pitched to me a long time ago, you know, right, uh, when we were getting ready to make that second album. And um, it was one of those songs that I didn't write it. So they, they came in and they, they said, hey, we got this song we want you to hear. We think you'll love it. Uh, and they played it. And um, after the first verse and chorus, uh, I was immediately, I said, first of all, the, the song just feels good. Um, and that's kind of what we, what I go for it in, in the beginning when I hear a song for the first time. How does it make me feel? Uh, it just, but it did. It made me feel good. And it, it just had to, had a good groove, had a good beat, and the, and the melody was was pretty infectious. Yeah. And you, did you happen to get that on the radio because of the timing of everything and what was happening in your career? Wasn't that something that you managed to do yourself from just a ton of hard work? Or how did that well, it, it started out, well, yeah, it started out, I, I had the record deal and, and we were pushing the song, it was rocking. Uh, it was the first uh, I Heart On The Verge country song, which was a big deal. Um, and then, um, you know, when it started getting too close to the top 10, the record label closed, um, which was pretty, pretty deflating, you know, as, as, a, as an artist. To, to have a song that's doing so well, all of a sudden lose all of its momentum. So uh, after about a couple of days, I was like, you know what, this, I can't, we can't keep this song from doing all it can. Just, just because I don't have a record deal anymore doesn't mean this song's not a hit song. So I basically got on the phone with, with uh, all the people, the relationships that I had at Country Radio, and I just started calling saying, you know, I've never done this before. I don't know how to promote my own song. Uh, but you know, I, I sure wish we could keep this song going and tell me what I got to do to make that happen. And, and for the most part, country radio was all about it. And we were able to get that song all the way to uh, number seven. So going through that, how did that change you as an artist? Was uh, one of those things where, and, and I believed in this from the get go is that you just gotta, gotta keep your nose to the grindstone and, and just keep going, keep moving forward. No matter, no matter what hurdles you, that, that you face. Uh, and you know, the, my entire career has been up and down, up and down, and as far as success is concerned. Um, but I, you know, I don't have a plan B. It's just I got to keep going. This is uh, this is how I do it. This is how I make a living, and and that's the, that's the way I'll keep doing it. It's about time was your first single released in 2020 as a newly independent artist, and after having the song in your back pocket for years now, I title, you know, it's very fitting. But um. Can you tell me why that's a perfect title for this life chapter of yours right now? It's, it's all about time, you know, and that's, that's one of the reasons I love that song. Once again, the first time I heard that song, uh, I fell in love with it, but just uh, where I was being independent uh, after so many years of having a record deal, um, it just was the perfect song uh, to, re to be the first release for a lot of reasons, but the title itself was one of those reasons. I mean, it was about, it's about time I put out new music. It's about time I get to do it the way I want to do it. Uh, it's about time uh, all of this, this song itself comes out because I had, I've had that song for so many years, but the record label wouldn't let me put it out. So it just, it just made sense. And when I do finally put a full album together, that the album will be named, it's about time as well. And that song is just, beautiful. I turn that song on, I get like chills and oof, I love it. You know, we hear the songs, we hear the stories, but what song of yours has your favorite story behind it? Oh, I'd say my favorite song that, or song that's got a good story would be Outskirts of Heaven. Uh, I wrote it for a, a very, you know, personal reason. 
and I started playing it live and, and it, no, it didn't matter where I was, where I was and, and where I was playing, I would, I, I would get standing ovations and, you know, and that's just not common whenever you have a slow song, a song that nobody's ever heard before and uh, a semi-religious song. And so I, when I wrote it, I knew it was special, but then I started playing it out live uh, before it was ever released. And just, I, I knew just from the crowd's reactions and, and, and the places that I played this song that this song needed to be on the radio. So I, I went to the head of the record label and I said, look, I don't know what's going on with this song, but something's going on with it. I said, we need to go in and record this thing and put it out. And uh, he, even he was hesitant. He was like, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, it's four minutes long and da, da, da. I was like, I don't care. I says, I won't be able to sleep at night knowing that this song is, I had this song and we didn't put it out. And um, he, he said, okay, let's do it. Um, so I, that's a good story, you know, that, that I have with, with at least that song. So a young Craig Campbell, 22 years old, fresh out of Georgia, stars in his eyes waits for you after a performance and asks you for one piece of advice he promises he will live by as he begins his musical journey. What is it? One piece of advice. Mm -hmm. Young Craig Campbell. Um, now. <laughs> I think it'll, it'll still be the same, kind of like what we talked about earlier. You don't have a plan B because if you do, you will in the back of your head, it'll, it'll always be there. And you'd be like, well, if this don't work out, then I can just do this. Uh, don't dabble, you know, jump all, jump head first in and uh, want it more than the other person wants it. Um, and I, I, I'm a firm believer the cream rises to the top. And finally, please finish this sentence. August 2020, it's about time Craig Campbell fill in the blank. Oh, uh, August 2020, it's about, it's about time Craig Campbell opens up his coffee shop. Oh, hey, um, there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've been working on it for a while and we're getting we're getting close. And um, so, yeah, we, we'll it's looking good. It's looking good. We're, we're finally getting close to the to the nuts and bolts and, and get the get the process started. Oh, well, that's exciting. Yes. Well, it's about time then, huh? <laughs> well, Greg, thank you so much for doing this with us today. You know, I've always been a fan of your music, what you do now, getting to know you a little bit. I'm even bigger fan of who you are, so thank you so much. Well,